What's going on gang? In today's video, we're gonna be opening up my first battle. This is a deck, pre-constructed deck, that you can pick up just about anywhere from all stores around where you probably are. I'm sure you've seen them all everywhere. I got this one at GameStop, obviously $10. But we're gonna be opening up this today, as well as four Temporal Forces packs. One of the reasons I bought this is because of these promos right well i don't know if they're really promos but they're just part of the card deck with the blue borders i'm i don't know if the blue borders come in there for sure but we're going to open it up just to see and find out what other cards are in here i'm super excited let's hop into it find a way to get in here um could just rip it up you know just rip right into it but what i'm going to use is my trusty blade from my job site. Boom, just like that. Now, as far as I know, this is a two-part deck where two people can play. Ooh, what? I've never seen a copper coin before. That's a first. That's pretty cool. Put that right here. And uh, yeah, if you wanna get started, uh, playing the Pokemon TCG. This is probably one of the best ways to do it because it's super simple Let's find out what's in here. I have no idea. Like I said, I have not watched anything on this This looks like the Pre-cons right here and then the other The others might be whoa, 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 whoa. whoa look at this Okay, so this is the Charmander deck Is it 40 cards 60 cards? So you got Charmander blue Blue borders, blue borders, and there's another one right there. These cards are super bent too. See that? Well, you can't probably can't see it in there. So basically the same Charmander, but without the blue borders. Charmeleon, Charmeleon's one, two. Charmeleon, two Vulpix, one Ninetales, two Growlithe. Ooh, look at the artwork on this one. Heck yeah. Magmar. Some trainers, one, two, three basic energies. So I think that's gonna complete it for deck number one. And let's find out what's in number two. Come on out of there. Come on. Yo, <laughs> like the artwork on here. So again, blue borders, I think that must be like some kind of promotional material just for these decks. One, probably two War Tortle. Poliwag. Two there. Poliwhirl. My boy. Magikarp. Two Magikarp. One Gyarados. Lapras. And some more trainers. Huh. Pretty cool. I There's one more. There's one more my first battle that you can pick up. I think it's Bulbasaur and Pikachu or Bulbasaur and Charmander. But uh, hold on, let's take a look at these again. One more time, let's come through here. So yeah, these are the ones that I mainly wanted to collect. Got the little Pokeball stamp there. So cool. Super excited. Maybe this will help me get into the TCG more. Maybe I'll just hop in. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Looks like we have some kind of an instruction guide, or it's actually a play mat. And it's kind of got this plasticky film on there. That's interesting. That's interesting. Flip it over. Nothing there. Perfect way to start a match. If you're beginning, I'm gonna toss that on the floor. Um, play mat number two. They just load you up with stuff. Look at this. This is, I feel like this is incredible value right here. Play an energy card, evolve Pokemon. Okay. Is it 40 cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 okay 
Uh, you get your damage counters and uh, not really sure. Not sure what these are for. Rule book. Okay. Yeah, it's. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is. Uh, it's getting really, really, really hot in my room. For ten dollars, I feel like you can't beat it. If you want to collect them, if you want to invest in it, I don't know. But I, for sure, one want to keep a couple in my collection. Uh, just keep sealed. And um, definitely want to pick up the other one with Bulbasaur, just to have that blue bordered uh, card as well. So without further ado, let's hop into these Temporal Forces packs. Gosh, you know what? I'll tell you a little story. My buddy didn't really, you know, come out of retirement, but he's more into collecting vintage cards. And his first step back into uh collecting some modern stuff he picked up five four a full set a full four set of temporal forces and basically right off the bat he managed to pull two illustration arts a walking wake uh special rare illustration art it was just absolutely insane for him to come back and do that. And I feel like he does have super good luck. Tell me if you guys have some friends who have some crazy, crazy luck. I know he definitely did. And we were yelling in the parking lot, <laughs> freaking out outside of Target. We were like, what the heck? That's crazy. But yeah, tons of fun. Heaps of fun. Temporal Force is one of the coolest. Definitely one of the coolest. I mean, Scarlet and Violet is just ramping up. The art's getting better and better. And as far as I know, Temporal Force is, is a very competitive set uh, with the new A-Specs that, you know, makes things... Uh, that, that throws a wrench into the meta. Frostmoth. So, in terms of collecting, I feel like it'll be a memorable thing because a lot of people are going to be Remembering the times that they played with certain cards from Temple Forces and yeah, Bramblin, we've got a Chatot and a Bramble Gast. Nothing crazy. For my luck, opening Temporal Forces, it's been pretty grim, but I really, I don't know. I don't know, something about it. I really like the arrangement of chase, chase cards that are in this set. And for me, I like chasing them just because I feel like they have a certain aesthetic that is extremely pleasing. Uh, the iron leaves, the iron treads, like they all have incredible artwork to them. And if you notice, all the Pokemon in those cards, they're all in the center, which is pretty cool they're not all off center or like looking here looking there they're all centered so we've got a elgium litten reverse hollow and a walking wake ex okay okay I'll take that put that in the ex pile <laughs> the only one but we're only oops we're only opening up four packs today so it's been a while since i made a video opening up some packs. I've been dying too. It's just been super crazy around here because I'm trying to get this table sorted out so I can rearrange my entire room. And um, yeah, let's call the names out. Arbok. We've got a C dot chilling there. Probably Yukimori. Oh, a Sako Ito. Okay. Totodile. Got a Deerling. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Iron Treads. Buddy Buddy Puffin. This and the gold card would be awesome. Ekans. Reverse Hollow Ekans. Ooh, that Matang is pretty cool. And to finish it off, another EX. Oh, yeah. Nice. A Gengar EX to finish off with. Let me get a close up on that. I haven't gotten this yet. Wait, what's that red, red dot? Is that on my camera? That red dot's probably on my camera. Awesome looking card. 
It would've been cool to get one of the Gengar full arts or the Morty's Conviction, but that's okay. That's gonna complete this opening. This, however, this my first battle coin, this is tripping me out. This makes me wanna get more of them. There's gold ones, there's silver ones, there's chrome ones. Anyway, let me know how you guys are feeling about temporal forces. Let me know if you guys wanna see some more openings of these uh, little game piece boxes that have to do with actually playing the TCG. And uh, yeah, we can make it happen on the channel. Catch you in the next video.